Chat, here we go. We got Rez or Raziers, who is changing his name. We'll get into that in a second. Versus Mizixi. Mizixi um, is a new player from KSA. Uh, we've seen a lot of Middle Eastern 1v1 players in the past, but I noticed uh, Mizixi on the top 100 leaderboard for a few weeks now, maybe even like a month or so. I saw him climbing up, and I think I had a few other people tell me about him in my Discord or even in stream chat saying, hey, Mizixi's on the rise. You should get him uh, on stream. And so I saw him available this morning before going into work. I thought, you know what, maybe we should get him a nice debut. And not a bad player to debut against is Raziers, a top 20 or so rated 1v1 player from Germany, who we've seen a few different times. Uh, but you'll notice his name is Rez, and actually that the Twitch stream notification had the name Rez as well, not Raziers. The reason why that is, is apparently Raziers is either an actual like cuss word or is close to a cuss word or something. I personally don't know what word it's supposed to be, but Psyonix, it sounds like, maybe started to um, censor his name when they didn't before. And Twitch also didn't let me go live with his name as, uh, as part of the notification, the full name. So I, I don't know if that recently happened because I feel like I used to be able to. So anyways, uh, here I am casually probably ripping a slur that I don't even know according to uh, all these censoring, um, like, mo I don't know, censoring modifications or whatever. But we're going to stick with Rez. So if you don't know uh, Rezeers, it's Rez now. And for the he, hype. For the hype. Thank you, Saban. Rezeers is censored. What's Rezeers epic? Uh, I don't know, Magic Bear. That's a good question. When you Google Razier's asking me Oh really? That's funny. Brazzers. Well, we won't talk about it too much. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about the thing that's actually trying to censor. But uh, that would be funny. Uh, everybody at home, don't check out what that is. Just to be clear. <laughs> Well, it's censored. Shouldn't you take it off the leaderboard? I think, yeah, I will. I'll take it off the leaderboard in between these games. But I think it's more that it's censored because it's close to something. That's what I'd have to guess. Because sometimes when, like, the sensor filter tries to stop you from getting around, um, like, posting stuff really similar to things you shouldn't have, I think it's one of those cases. I can't imagine that the actual name is uh, the thing that's being censored. I can tab out and do it now as Mizexi um, demos res to grab a second. Wait, how do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. That's what I'm saying. Don't Google it. It must be something bad, right? Um, and of course, chat, don't tell anyone what it is. <laughs> Mizexi in uh, the Fennec, and it does seem like we find more um, of the KSA guys in 1v1 playing Fennec. But really, it's a toss-up. We, we see Fennec's and Octane's like crazy all over the scene. Rezier's, wow, a really nice late flip to carry this off the wall. I like his goal explosion, too. You see, holding onto that flip, kind of like pre-flipping into it in order to push it over the top of the defender and then getting that late 50 as Mizekski not quite ready for it. Couldn't pinch it away, Raziers up 4-2. Trying to welcome in the uh, newcomer to the showmatch scene. Of course, when I say showmatch scene, I'm talking about my own stream. I'm not sure if Mizekski's maybe played you know, a million showmatches before. I imagine these guys have probably played at some level, you know, in a stream match if they got to this high of rating. Fear taking my player suggestions? Well, first off, <laughs> this player was also suggested by the top 100 leaderboard. So if anybody wants to suggest a player, the best vouch that they can give after suggesting their player is show that 
they're really high in the top 100 leaderboard. Razier's is KSA. No, no, Razier's is Germany. Uh, Razier's, as far as I am understanding, is Germany. But Mizexi is, is KSA. Zexi has had a couple different kickoff goals, I'm pretty sure. And right now, that's keeping a minute as Raziers has dominated in the open field for the past minutes or so. But a great flick from his XE. <laughs> you Googled his name and you found me? Well, perfect. <laughs> I think uh, Google might know that you like to watch my videos, so it might be giving you a specific search result. Rez bumped off of a potential shot attempt. As I see he's coming up high and making interception attempts with very little boost. Quite the risk to make, but luckily for him, Rez had fallen into the corner, but a soft touch. We've seen those deadly, you know, medium height soft touches against a shadow defender. Ones that I think I remember Moxie doing to Rawas a bunch when Rawas was defending the same way as Zexy was there. Razier's an outplay at the cost of his life. Zexy checking to see where Razier's gonna spawn from. If he's gonna come try and put on a lot of pressure. Wow, what a great catch and shot. Unfortunately, Razier's was well placed. He's gonna have to be a little bit more out of position to get caught off guard, but it's a great save and a great shot. Is XC going to get a fourth here? Wow, actually Razier's almost saved that away. Seemed like it should have been a really easy bucket, but Razier's, oh, so close. He actually got his right wheels chipped up by that bump. You guys see what, uh, what I'm talking about? He was gonna single jump and then flip into it, but then, the, the bump pulled his right wheels up, which made his uh, his first jump his second jump. And instead, he just, like, pushed into nowhere. That's kind of interesting. Just how close that was. I think if if he doesn't get that bump, then uh, Raziers ends up getting that save. But he's down one. 28 seconds to go. Uh, fear, any tournament coming soon? Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have... Uh, I think an announcement's coming tomorrow. I know I've been talking about announcements coming out. And I've been having to delay for various reasons. I think we can be almost 100% sure that uh, you can look for an announcement tomorrow. Zexy needs a goal here in the next four seconds. A nice 50 win. He should be able to pick up the boost. Or does it need to pick up the boost? The angle! What the shot! Oh my goodness. I thought he was going to maybe need it to stay underneath the ball. But he's smarter than me, of course. He had the angle off that bounce without it. And he actually made it so much tougher than he needed to, I think. <laughs> I think he could have shot it on the near post, like almost anywhere on the net. But he was worried about not getting the angle. You could tell he set up specifically to make sure he got it. <laughs> and he almost got it too much as he sends it all the way into the far post. And oh my goodness, what a stolen game here. Razier, or sorry, Rez was so close to getting this dub. He held on to the lead for the majority of it. And then Mizexi, a couple good kickoff plays, I'd say, are really the key for him. Yo, Agent, what's up, man? Thank you for the $10, dude. I've been good. Hopefully, you've been good as well. Agent, I assume you want this $10 to be a prize pool for these guys? All right, we'll rotate map the next one. We had three maps offered up. So uh, we just need Rez to win a game. If Rez wins a game, we're still going to make it to every map that uh, people wanted to play. Because I'm guaranteed not going to forget again. Blame Agent. Blame Agent. Chat. Chat. Think about Agent who donated $10. It's his fault. Oh my goodness. Rez starting off with a goal. Mazekski also starting off with a kickoff goal. Um, Sabin, thank you for the gifted sub to Agent. Appreciate that. And Sharon. Thank you for the 25 bones. Or the 15 bones to make it 25 bones for the prize pool. I appreciate that.
Res. Nice low boost play off the kickoff to try and put his XE on the back line. Not a great challenge on the wall, but Zero is going to be able to tap in. A very easy second. Oh, you thought this was a Moxie here? I like how chat is just coming in here um, asking if uh, if Mazexi is the person that he is. There's so many people who I guess have similar names. Mazexi. A big clear with Zeers. I think he thought he had control of it. Trying to kill it up onto the wall and take a shot. And now he's actually forced to make a tough save and get killed for it. And Mazekski will get a second. Wow, what a turnaround for Zeers. Thinking he's just casually rolling the ball up the wall. Staying in control of it. Mazekski makes a great challenge. And a perfect long shot. But Zeers, I, I think, also didn't realize he's going to make a save to the last second. And it costs him his life. Here after this match, what sub count are you at? Uh, I think I added the sub count to the like intermission screen that you guys on Twitch are very familiar with, and you guys on YouTube have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but I think I've added it there so you can see. I hide it actually from myself. Yeah, that's true. Moxie uh, does have a super similar name, and players do love to do things like take the vowels out of their names and uh, shorten them. Zexki, big ol' miss from him as he uh, should have been maybe taking the third instead because he just gets one the other way. Well then let's up it a bit more. Yo, agent, sounds good to me, man. $35 prize pool for this show match. I appreciate it a lot. Here's a backflip diagonal flick. Usually you see those directly backflipped, but a very interesting shot attempt. So he's just doing his best to kill his saves all the way on the back wall. This time he does succeed. His XC can't bump him, can't pressure him, so he will get a couple different shot attempts. Nice quick cut. This is a great cut from Razier's. First shot attempt saved away. Other players might not try and, you know, cut it immediately back on net as fast as he did. But the reward is a nice air roll shot that Mazekski can't get to. 4-3 in favor of Zeers. Fahad is back in second. Yeah, I thought that was crazy. Uh, that kind of came out of nowhere because I, I, I check the top 100 leaderboard pretty frequently to see where players are at, see how they're doing, see if they're focusing on ones. That kind of stuff, see who maybe we want to get for a show match. And I went and checked this morning and I was like, whoa, Fahad number two. He, he wasn't really in the conversation for number two. It was um, Moxie and Khaled. And then I think that the people under Moxie and Khaled weren't really playing as much. Like Lion Blaze, first kill, like the kind of guys that kind of have had the top rank for so long. Um, and they like play a couple ranked games and then they just stop. But that still gives them the, uh, the highest possible rank. That goal explosion is nice. You're talking about the, the space one? The space one is cool. I, I didn't see what Mazexi's one is. Is Mazexi playing in the RLCS? Um, I am not sure about that. I think so. I'm trying to, to remember if I've seen his name when looking at the, uh, the KSA list of teams. Yeah, he is. There you go. Chat knows. Completely outplayed. Trying to dive into that corner. Razier is left with not a lot of boost. A nice fake. Zeski fell for it and could not get back to the second touch. Razier's very great play. A little bit of panicky play from Zeski on both ends. I mean, diving in deep into Razier, or sorry, Rez's corner <laughs> and not getting that touch. And then panic jumping on the way back as well. It's, it's tough to not do so. Because if Rez goes for the quick shot, then he is going to be in big trouble. 
with Zexky picking up the back corner boost and the midfield boost. Rez is actually going to be in a really tough spot if uh, Mazeksky had rushed this ball to the net because he was sitting on absolutely zero. Oh, well, he's going to be in a tough spot even if Mazeksky doesn't rush, apparently, as he takes it through the corner. Razir's just had some weird positioning in this corner. It's not the first time that Mazeksky has been able to get it past him. He, he's kind of driving up the corner to try and challenge, and it's ended up resulting in him having to kind of uh, reverse and come to a full stop in awkward ways and both times now I think Mazexi just destroying him taking him off the map making the save very very easy Razir's nice touch but he couldn't get it in in time played it just a little bit too fast and will the counter attack go immediately in because that's going to make it hurt more no Rez what a save great recovery and another close game Mazexi on his way back to uh, the back corner has time to say what a save Rez, a high chip. Zexky, not a lot of boost, so he'll use that as an opportunity to get a great boomer. But these defenders are so good nowadays in ones. Last one. Yo, Agent! Throwing another $10. I believe that makes it, uh, not 35 it makes it, uh, 45 Wait, right? Yeah, 45 $45 prize pool, and in order for Mazexi to give you the uh, the money's worth, he is going to instantly tie up the game and continue to keep it close. Nice bump. Send Rez out of the play, and actually ended up driving himself away from it. He recovered pretty well, uh, but he ended up coming a little bit too far out towards Rez, maybe with this wave dash, and then... You can see him in no man's land trying to decide which way to go. <laughs> Made it easy on me. Yo! You. Chat, you guys are so nice today. Let's go. Sure, thanks for another five. Fifty dollar nice and clean. Um I'll, I'll let Mazeksky decide whether or not Razirs can get a minute of slow game. I assume he's talking about um going into Bacchus mod and, and Playing slow mode? Is that what Rez is saying? Rez with 13 seconds left to go. I'll tell you what, heading out of this match would be a good reminder to change the map. So. Rez, will he get one last goal or will Mazexi win by two? Looks like it'll be two. So a 2 0 lead for Mazexi. Uh, and Rez wants a little time to prep. Game number three. We are headed to Forbidden Temple as redeemed by somebody in chat. I forget who. Um, if we go to uh, a game four, I think we're headed to Rivals Arena for that game. Rez versus Mazeksky. Wanted a little bit of time to do uh, a little bit of warming up it seemed like I think I, I didn't confirm but he said slow mode or slow game something like that he's got to be talking about Bacchus mods um, thing where you can slow the game down right and play at like 50% speed or 25% speed unless he went out and played some kind of mode I've never heard of you love seeing the Daniel speculation I think my favorite part about the Daniel speculation is the part where Daniel plays Rocket League again <laughs> Or at least he plays, you know, in a way that I can watch him. Because I'm sure he plays ranked or whatever on occasion. Mazeksky, a nice 50 in a second. Why would Sip leave SSG? Uh, why does anybody leave any team? You know, I think players want to be BDS. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think at the end of the day, all players want to be the team winning the major, the team winning the lands, um, and you know, everybody's going to do, for the most part, what they think is the best strategy to do that, with with some exception. I'd say there is some like friend bond with your team that you've had for a while, or like, but for the most part, I think sticking with teams is just a good idea to try and win. Um, you, know, you shouldn't just jump your team every single time. So does Sipical maybe want to leave? I don't know, that's what the rumors sound like. Uh, you asked me why does he want to leave? Uh, I'm sure it's motivated by wanting to be like BDS. Wanting to be the team that's sitting at the top and feeling like maybe he's not 
going to be able to do that on Space Station Gaming. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that's true. I'm not agreeing with him. Um, but that is why I think anybody tries to find another team. And if you're not of the caliber to be at a, you know, a land winning a major, then you're changing teams to try and get into the RLCS. And, you know, if you're in the RLCS, you're changing teams to try and get to the major. I don't know. You're just always trying to be as good as possible. Razier is a nice takeaway. Oh, sorry, Rez. It's going to take me a bit. Here I am throwing slurs out that I don't even know. Do you think Daniel will be the newest first killer, Justin? I don't know, man. I really don't. Uh, I am not clairvoyant. I think, you know, people seem to think that there's a really good future for Daniel. And I would have to agree with them. Uh, but I watched him play a different game mode. That's probably the biggest reason why I can't say for sure. I watched him play a little bit of threes. You know, I know he's high ranked in six mans. But uh, I tell you what, if RLCS was ones and you asked me that, I'd say absolutely. We're looking at maybe the new best player ever. Uh, but you know, it isn't ones. Rez, another nice outplay and a lead. Is actually trying to uh, challenge early on that shadow defense in the corner. I think this actually has had the clear advantage on the kickoffs though. We've seen a few different direct kickoffs go straight to the net. And you're always fighting an uphill battle if you uh, can't either neutralize all the kickoffs or at least win as many as you lose. Is there much footage? Yeah, there's a bunch of footage. Daniel plays a lot of threes tournaments and stuff. Uh, I just haven't watched them as closely. It's the Fennec. The Fennec on the kickoffs, just too big, too strong. Halfway through the game, Mizekski about to take a lead, I think. Yeah, Rez can't quite get back. Rez has had a few different times. He's having to rush all the way back from the other back wall. Watching from work with no volume. Thanks, man. Res, that's nice. That's a kick-up goal. It's a good sign. Going into the rest of this game. Vina needs to one more team. More than one team. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, at the same time, like Sandrock, a top eight team. Yeah, they, they do need one more than one. But uh, let's say like a top eight team plays a uh, like a just outside the top eight but still major worthy team in fact there's like almost direct proof of this uh, in NA right so NA G2 won the most recent major and then didn't make top eight uh, so you can see that they're still kind of like contending they're still pretty good uh, but you know maybe in the world scene they didn't look as good as they should have now Sandrock wins every single game they play in the Middle East region and they were top eight you know bottom top eight because they lost NRG so it's like here these teams like phase NRG these teams that are playing really well they're they're still losing on occasion to these other guys who are coming from North like North America or I'm sure this you know there's more examples of this in the EU but Sandrock never loses uh, and that is quite a sign about how the second best team might do. Um, but when your first best team is, you know, getting top eight, you have to send another team. And I agree with that for sure. You have to find out. You can't just speculate. And that's why the world spots are decided by how teams do. Right now, I think there's like three teams from the Middle East going to worlds. Uh, so definitely. Um, if you have a team finishing as high as Sandrock, you cannot just wonder what the next best team from that region can do. You have to find out. I can agree with that. Sandrock didn't have their best player. Uh, true. True, but let's say BDS, right? BDS, the team that won the whole event. They still lose on occasion to other teams in EU. Um, and and those, like, they probably lose on occasion maybe to Vitality. That, that might be an exaggeration, but I, I'm sure they lo lost to, uh, 
some of the other teams. And that kind of indicates those teams have a chance of doing well. From what I understand, someone correct me if I'm wrong, Sandrock has never lost. They've like never even lost a match. And when I check, they're not even usually losing games much. They only lose games to, to like the grand finals, it seems like. They lose like considerable amount of games. They went to a game seven with uh, the ultimates, I'm pretty sure. Razier is once again a two goal lead and Mizexi erasing it right at the end. Oh no, this is gonna hurt if Mizexi is able to get a kickoff goal off this situation. Rezez didn't kill it enough. Oh no, Rez, Rez. He has had so many leads coming into the final seconds, but he hasn't been able to hold on to him. Can Rez hold this game and prevent the full sweep? from the new debuting player. Not often a debuting player wins, and not only wins, but gets a full sweep. Rez, though, still possible to make that not the case. Not the best of 50s, but the clock will hit zero. Overtime, 6-6. Six, six. Is Exki a chip? Gonna get the first attempt. Too strong of a chip, though. Rez able to intercept it fairly easily and tried to kill it on the goal line. Rez is going to take the risk, but man, is it the risk when you have absolutely no boost and you aren't positioned next to 100 boost either. It means you're going to have a really tough time uh, rotating back if you were to not win that 50, but he did. So credit to him. Do what he was doing. And he might have a hook shot for a goalie. Will Rez is not going to go down silently as he will take game number three and bring the series to two to one, but man, Mizexki almost stole another one from Rez. Mizexki and Rez in game number four. Rez taking a slight break between games two and three. Maybe that's the difference and what made him capable of clutching it out. Quite a close matchup, I'll, I'll be honest. I always try and get close matchups, but you never really know when you have a player playing for the first time. Rez, you know, winning what feels like a long time ago. It's almost becoming not super relevant, but the DreamHack 1v1 that was played, uh, I feel like that was the most recent big 1v1 tournament. Rez did win that, uh, but I want to say that's almost like a couple months ago now, and the one scene definitely shifts uh, faster than that. But still, I mean, you know Rez is going to be a high, high quality ones player. And so someone in the 50 range debuting against a player like Rez could show up and have a tough time, but that has not been the case for Mizexi at all as Rez pops it over him and takes a long shot. try and race to the back corner, but realizing that was a race, he's not going to be able to win. Both these guys popping the ball over early challenges at the start of this game number four. Rather not get air dribble bumped, I imagine is what Rez is thinking. If I let this dribble continue the way it is, I'll be in net a sitting duck. So I tried to turn early, but that did not work either. Zexky. Not going to be able to get around after the outplay, but shooting an immediate power shot and Rez happening to reset his defense on the back wall. Didn't necessarily have to play back wall defense, but he wanted to, and the process of setting that up kept him completely out of the play. Rez with a great wall to air to the setup. We saw him take one of these earlier, but I think Messi had such a great defense of it. But Zexy actually was the one who ended up scoring. This time, Rez using his ceiling reset for a pinch. Power shot saved away. Costing Rez all the boost he has to do so. Tried to pre jump a challenge on the wall, and now is going to be recovering late. Zexy didn't get the best of first touches or the second touch. He actually had an open net if he had hit that solid. 
because Rez reacted really late on the back post. That's a great 50. Mizeki gonna try and get the outplay without picking up the boost, but a really solid save by Rez to pinch it against the back wall. Now both these guys playing on absolutely nothing outside Mizeki's net and receives. Wow. A risky low 50. Needed to get a good touch there. As he was trying to, you know, challenge somebody with so much more boost in the tank. But he succeeded in doing so. Cannot score off of this high pop to himself. Zexki, he needed to continue to carry the dribble. Couldn't pick up the boost. Years. I think he was searching for a demo there. A lot of times players coming in on challenges, you know, especially on little bounce dribbles, may decide not to really focus on connecting with the ball. Instead, just look at the player behind the ball. And a lot of times you either come up with a nice demo or actually end up 15 it either way. Rez, nice last pop. Uh, low air dribble to get away with, but I think he does because he looks like he kind of loses it here. And Mizekski thinking he could challenge, but no, Rezier's had one more touch and pops it right above 2-2. Two -two. Rez. I wonder if he went wave dash kickoff there because he had such a faster flip to win that midfield boost. Oh, Mizekski, a huge miss. A critical, critical miss. With a minute 28 on the clock, let's see. Oh, he just jumped off the back wall to get it. It's hard to get to the right spot. You lose a lot of momentum when you connect with that wall. Rez, slow play on the kickoff. The flick, the placement, and a 4-2 lead for Rez. Trying to send this $50 game to game five, which by the way, I don't know if I let them know that it's $50. But I also have the feeling I've seen a couple signs of them having the stream open. So they might already know. Nothing like a direct kickoff goal to keep your hopes high with a minute 14 left to go. Rez. Loving the ceiling resets whenever he gets the wall to air dribble opportunities this time. He falls so quickly back down to the ground. He's able to go low on a power shot before Mizeki even realizes he's not even playing that high of defense. Just trying to cover all the options coming off the side wall. Razier is coming alive a little bit in this game number four. With the series result on the line. Trying to clutch it up for the $50. Here's another high catch, looking to double it just underneath the crossbar, but not going to work. Zesty, what a great boost spawn. <laughs> that boost spawn right as he needed it at midfield. Zesky, oh my goodness, is that just straight in? Oh no, it wasn't, Rez. <laughs> you might have had a chance. <laughs> He might have had a chance at recovering it, but he just wanted to stare at it. Oh, a little bit of an own goal. At least an own crossbar, and then Mizeki will finish it off. An unfortunate 50 for Rez. 30 seconds left. We've been in this situation before. Rez in the lead. Mizeki slowly windling that we lead away in the final seconds. Zesky coming for an immediate early challenge instead of trying to pick up that back corner boost and did not win out in this corner. We talked about it a million times before, but it's so crucial in the final moments to have the boost advantage. Um, you know, the number of times we've seen a player with little to no boost pull off that last second goal, it's just almost never as we see another proof. I think it all came down to that last... Uh, Boost grab by Rez to finish it off. But man, we got game five. Game five hypes in the chat for $50. All right, game five. I need to go adjust the uh, scoreboard, which I'll do here in a second. Um, apparently, Twitch died. 
Oh wait, apparently it also might be back. Mizekski getting the first goal of this game number five. Um, I was about to say we'll end up baiting people to the YouTube uh, if it doesn't come back here. We're just going to keep streaming. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to tell because sometimes Twitch chat doesn't want to chat about a certain game. So I figured we just didn't think this game was that interesting. But it sounds like all of Twitch uh, died. And whether or not it's back uh, during the rest of this game will, will be yet to be seen. But that's where the YouTube frogs should be patting themselves on the back, realizing that, hey, you had the perfect viewing experience and nothing stopped you from continuing to watch game four or five. One one at the start of this game. Rez, a nice outplay. He's gonna need a great double though, but it's so perfect for him. Why wow, was inside space there for a second? That's kind of crazy. This was not a, uh, you know, not a goal explosion that takes up the whole screen. It's just he was inside of it, so he's inside the diorama. As 15 against this wall. Are you the only one in the chat right now? You might be. Sounds like Twitch is in struggle busting. Exclusive viewing for Cool Beans 1957 and everybody on YouTube. Nice flick. We actually saw Mazeksi start off this series with a really nice flick. And I feel like we haven't seen him come, go back to it too much except for those flicks that were coming immediately off kickoff. Um, and, I mean, that one was crisp enough that it could be one of his regular attacks. And for those people who are wondering whether or not Mazeksky is Moxie, I want to say he just turned the way that, that Moxie does not Moxie, with every single one of his flicks, um, I believe turns right, flicks left. And Mazeksky just turned left, flicked right. I, I'm pretty sure. But I've already forgotten now. But anyways... Zexi, aerial shot, Raziris, that's a great double to clear it away. Rez, up the corner, right in that awkward spot where it's hard to carry it into the air without having the ceiling affect the dribble, and a little bit too high to make any sort of Unpredictable outplay on the way back down to the ground. Rez, nice demo after the first save to stay in this one. So we want some RLCS players on the stream. Hey, these are the top ones players in the game, my man. Lots of RLCS players would not be able to hang against both. I would say almost majority of the RLCS players who don't play ones. Maybe not the majority, because RLCS players at the end of the day, if they focus on ones, probably also could crush at it, but Rez, the flip reset shot, my goodness. Wow, what a beaut. Shipping it up to himself, and turning it underneath to get that flip reset to shoot it past Mazeski. That was a crazy shot. Rez is going to get a wide open net here. This is a bit of a mistake from Mazeksi. I'm not sure if he just thought the ball was definitely going to cross in front of the net or if he just made a bit of a mistake. Oh, yeah, he just turned in field uh, towards the net all the way that deep. Rez had a catch and takeaway that made it so that, that wasn't really possible. Um, some of their RLCS guys like to play ones. I'd say the... Uh, EU RLCS guys um, are more interested in ones. The Middle East RLCS guys also. Uh, there are some North American guys who like to do it as well. But I tell you what, I'm here to give you the best 1v1 content possible. 
And the good news is that these guys are the best that there is in 1v1, so. If that happens to uh, cross over with a player who also plays RLCS, then we'll have him on. Mizeski is going to have to be forced to come all the way here and get this save. Vizier's has had a, a few different moments in this series where he's been able to flick over early challenges of Mizeski. Twitch crash, that's what I heard. <laughs> Seems like we're slowly having people uh, filter back in. Zeski, nice 50. And a side flip for a third. You could never, ever, ever count Zeski out. The question is, will this be one of those games where he works it all the way back and wins? Or is this one of those games uh, where Raziers is able to hold it out? Oh, nice flick, man. Raziers has had a really good read as of late of these early challenges from Zeski. I mean, with a full minute left, he doesn't need to feel like he has to challenge and have pressure as early as he has been. Um, but for whatever reason, he is. You'll repeat the series? Uh, no, we definitely will not repeat the series because these guys playing for $50 um, and, you know, they weren't playing any different because Twitch crashed. So we can't just be like, hey, sorry. <laughs> You know, I know you won the series technically, but we're doing it again for Twitch. But the good news is we will repeat the series. I, I lied to you. We do repeat it. You want to know how we repeat it? We repeat it by watching it on YouTube. If you go check out the YouTube, uh, which Nightbot apparently is not connected to Twitch either. <laughs> but uh, you can get the YouTube. Just search Fear, uh, Fear Rocket League on YouTube, and I'll show up. Um, this match will go there if you want to see the full thing, as well as all the other matches that we ever have on stream. Uh, go there as well. But Mizexi so close to getting that fifth, and I think he needed it. He wanted to have a chance at coming back. Ten seconds left to go. Mizexi kindly let Raziers take that break after game two, but maybe he's realizing he shouldn't have. He needed that to go in a second ago. Oh no, it's not going to go in at all. The kind. Mizekski says, yes, Rez, you can take a break. Play some slow game for a bit. And after that, Rez secures the full reverse sweep. Says, you never should have let me.